What's up YouTube? Today I'm working on 2013 Cadillac ATS. Uh, I'm going to show you in this episode how you can fix your touch screen. It's a common issue with these cars. The touch screen costs really cheap, around $30. Just stay with me and I'll show you step by step how to fix that. So guys, here's your screen. Try to touch the screen, nothing happening. This touch bottoms on the bottom, they all working. Uh, so the touch screen working only if you hit the clock. Uh, you can switch to your radio if you still didn't get your screen, but in this episode I'm gonna replace actual screen because if you even turn to the radio, phone calls or map, if you're touching on the middle, it doesn't work. So it's come an issue. I'm gonna replace the screen. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Move this cover, doesn't have any bolts. You just push it carefully and there's some clips. You move that, put it right here. You need the seven millimeter uh, socket for these screws and you need to move these covers it's also you just take the screwdriver and move it here and there's the clips it should pop out and i'll show you what else you need to move on the top two screws in the middle here the central console a little bit to the back and there is another two two screws over there so to move this central console it's better if you switch to the park when your engine is running and just by holding your brakes when you unscrew these two screws you can put this central console panel back and put it in park again but for now, you just hold the brakes. And radio, just gonna come off like that. You put your car in park again. couple connectors here you just disconnect them and then we can start process of replacing the touch screen
here is our radio and we're gonna move this back cover and replace the screen all right guys first I'm gonna move this four screws to move this cover Now Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna move uh, this eight bolts to move this car. So now I'm gonna move these bolts around the touch screen. And there should be one connector that we need to disconnect, but first I wanna lose the touch screen.
So now guys, we can unscrew this last bolt right here. And here's the connector for our screen. screen and loose now we have to disconnect this connector right there Screen it out and we're gonna put the new one back in. Don't forget to move protection plastic inside. Put the bolts back for the screen. So now you can put this connector back carefully.
All right, guys, the new screen is in. It took me like 10 minutes probably. I just speed it up for you, but that was about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna connect all the connectors and try if it's working, and then I'm gonna put everything back in in the car. Now I'm just gonna connect the connectors back and see how it's gonna work. guys it's working now all right guys that's it thirty dollars for your screen 20 minutes of your time and your car ready to go you don't have spent thousands of dollars if you go to the dealer and let them fix it for you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.